obviously there's a, as I said last week, there is a league in itself from 10 and down. And when you meet opposition in that uh, that category, you uh, they're important games and you're looking forward to it. To be fair, I've had enough to think about this week. Uh, we prepared well, the lads have done, done uh, as we've expected them to do, the training sessions have been good. Some hard ones, some lighter ones, so we're well prepared and fresh legs for tomorrow. Yeah, it was an easy, easy decision for me. Uh, when uh, <coughs> I heard uh, uh, Heron finally got an offer from Cardiff, I was, yeah, it was a no-brainer really, and uh, I went uh, as fast as I could. Yeah. Absolutely, we're very pleased to see you. Um, is Magnus likely to start against West Ham? We'll see. He's had, <laughs> he's had a. Um, He's had a winter break, so he'll have fresh legs for us uh, towards the end of the season. So uh, more likely to uh, to not start a game this time around. He's had two sessions with the boys now, three maybe. So um, I'll I'll make my mind up tonight. You're up against a, a seasoned campaigner in, in Sam Allardyce, but yeah. he's, he's not in the position I suspect he would like to be in at this stage. From your point of view, does that make West Ham vulnerable or pretty dangerous? Look, I've. I've got enough to think about uh, my own team and of course I know Big Sam, we've uh, we've met quite a few times and uh, he he deals with the West Ham, he manages them and I'll just concentrate on my team. So, But we'll both uh, look to win the game of course, it's an important uh, game for the two teams so um, I, I just, I can't wait to get out, uh, out on the stadium listen to the crowd, get them behind us, back, back back, us again like they always do here, see the lads playing football. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a great uh, lads, lads of bunch and, uh, and uh, yeah, they've been taking good care of me and uh, the training session has been really good and uh, it's a, really a step up for me. Yes, Craig's uh, been training with us now for a week and he's uh, looking really sharp to be fair, so uh, he'll be involved tomorrow, he's in the squad. Um, so yes, he's, uh, yeah, he's back and available. And has he indicated to you that he wants to play on beyond this season? We've spoke obviously uh, together, and uh, my uh, I just give him my thoughts. Play as long as you can, because you know you'll if you can play football as, and you you feel that you you can justify your performances. Uh, that that's my uh, job now, and of course Craig uh, us together to get him. Uh, performing and getting back out on the pitch. So hopefully I'll um, motivate him, inspire him to uh, to prolong his career, yes. What sort of manager is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer? What sort of coach is he? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been with him for a long time and uh, yeah, he, wants, he wants us to play football and uh, uh, that, I think that's, that's uh, how it should be. Uh, and Premier League, has that always been a sort of dream of yours? Yeah, it's a it's it's a dream for every Norwegian uh, kid, I think, because uh, that's what everyone watches in Norway, and that's what you brought up with. So it's uh, it's a dream come true, and uh, it's it's brilliant. Most Cardiff City fans will see your team for the first time tomorrow. Yep. Uh, <coughs> as good as the support was away last week, of course, at Newcastle, yep. as yeah, you it was saw. Fantastic. Um, will they see things differently? Will they see a different sort of approach? Well, you know, there's. A great foundation to build from. We've added a couple of things in training. We've fo- uh, really focused on a couple of things that we think will move the team forward and make us better. But the foundation is there, and that's uh, ingrained in the boys for over the last three, four, five years. Especially, um, you know, the attitude, the team shape is great. So I've just added a few ideas going forward.